Hi guys, in this episode of Shree series, we're going to be talking about calculating power. And if you looked at my previous videos, I actually talked about the relationship between power, work and time. All right. So before I go any further, I'm just going to give you a quick guide on how to find the formula for power, work and time. All right. So going back to the last uh, video that I put in, uh, we use what's known as a three way pyramid formula. So we know very well that power is work over time. All right. So we know the first formula is power is work over time. Work is power times time and time is work over power. All right. So these are the three ways to find formulas involving work power and time. All right. So in this video, I've got three questions, one on how to find work and the other to find power and the last one on how to calculate time. All right. So let's look at this question carefully and I'm going to read it out. James does work and applies 3000 joules to an activity in 30, sorry, 60 seconds. All right. So what information do we have and what do we need to work out? All right. So we can see here the work applied is 3000 joules and the time is 60 seconds and we need to find the power. All right. And we know very well work is in joules. So the unit of work is in joules, just like energy. The unit of time is seconds and the unit for power is watts, capital W. All right. So as you can see from the formula, power is work over time. All right. So what that means is that's going to be 3000 divided by 60 and that's going to be 50 watts. All right. So you're going to get 50 watts as your power. So going back, you can see the formula is power is work over time. My work is 3000 joules and my time is 60 seconds. And therefore, you're going to get 50 watts as your power. All right. Let's look at the second question. All right. So I'm going to read the second question. John applies 5000 watts in an activity and completes it in 70 seconds. Calculate the work done. All right. So if you look at the information here, we've got the power because power has a unit in watts. We've got the time, which is 70 seconds. All right. So my power is 5000 watts and my time is 70 seconds, we need to work out what is W, which is work, all right? We know very well power is work over time. Therefore, work is power times time. And what we do is we get 5,000 times 70. And my work is going to be 351234 joules all right so 350,000 joules so that's how we get work work is power times time so we get 5,000 watts as my power multiplied by 70 seconds and that's going to be 350,000 joules so you can see it's important that we clearly lay out what bits of information are there. In question number two, we had our power, we had our time, and to calculate W, we got work is power times time. So you need to know how to manipulate the equation, all right? Now, let's look at the third example, all right? So if you look at the third example, let's read out. Sandra applies 6,000 joules with an output of 150 watts. Calculate her time. All right. So what information do we have? We've got 6,000 joules, which is the work. We've got 150 watts, which is the power. And we now need to find the time taken. All right. So let's look at that. We've got power, 150 watts. We've got work, which is 6,000 joules. And we've got time, 
which is what we need to work out. All right. Now, if you look at the last formula, which was work, we know work is power times time. And if you want to find time, time now becomes work over power. All right. So time is work over power. So let's look at our work. That's 6,000 joules divided by 150 watts. And you're going to get your time as 40 seconds. So your time's now going to be 40 seconds. All right. So you can see we've answered three questions, one involving power, one involving work, and the last one involving time. All right. If you know the interrelationship between work, power and time, this will help you solve the question. You also need to be very fluent with changing the subject of the formula. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye now.